In uh, the introduction um, to your uh, upcoming video, I, I, I was uh, looking at the preview, mm -hmm. and uh, you talk about, you mention how every hood is the same, right? Uh -huh. Whether it be in the east or in the west side of Montreal, mm -hmm. um, according to what you're saying, it's all the same thing. And I wanted to make that same parallel between Montreal mm -hmm. and Brooklyn. Okay. Would you say that... Um, ghettos or you know the hoods here in Montreal mm -hmm. uh, share a lot of similarities with the hoods in uh, Brooklyn. Oh, mo most definitely. You know, to me, like I said, you know, I've been around. You, f you feel me? From Europe to, I I'm going on the bigger scale here with you. You feel me? You know, um, like I told you, from Europe to um, Brooklyn to um, you know Montreal. You know, I, I don't need to go else, elsewhere. To me, I've seen hood rats, I've seen drug dealers, and you name it. It's, it's always the same thing. What defers to me is the population. Obviously, there's much more people out there. So, obviously, they'll, you know, the crime rate and, the, you know, the drama will increase where there's more people. You feel me? But out here is the same thing to me is, you know, when somebody got to go, don't they go? They go, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> but that's do, you, what it do is. you really feel? Are you saying here today at the DMS show that the intensity is the same in Brooklyn as in Montreal? What do you mean by well, that? By intensity, intensity, I mean, uh, what uh, it, uh, uh, of the crime? Because it. Let's be honest, you know, there's not that many places in Montreal mm -hmm. where we would be, I don't know, afraid to go. Where in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of uh, spots where you know. Well, you know, I'm, I probably wouldn't go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me, so, I, I would, I definitely go there. You feel me? Uh -huh. I mean, when you talk about Church Avenue and all of that, I yeah. mean, that's a place that if you're not really invited, don't go there. Exactly. And here, I'm here in Montreal, uh -huh. and you know, like you know, the certain place in Montreal North, mm -hmm. um, Saint Michel. You know, I mean, the certain place if you're not from there, like you know, dudes will look at you from. Mm -hmm. You know, from an angle like yeah, who you, you like who he, and mm -hmm. you better come up with some quick answers. You true, feel true. me? And no, that's that's you. what it is. So, you know, the intensity it, it depends what you mean. You know what I mean? It, it really depends. But music wise, let's put it that way. What would you say that the main difference is between the Brooklyn scene uh -huh. or the American scene compared to Montreal? Oh, now that that's incomparable. You can't compare that. This mm -hmm. to me here. I mean, I think we would all agree. Let's not lie to one another. This is not really a scene here. You know I mean, it's Just still, it's that. still <laughs> you know, it's it's still a virgin market. It's it's up for grabs. So, um, you know, over there, it's, everything is happening. You know I mean, obviously, if you look at the pros and cons out here, because there's no scene, that's a disadvantage. But, you know, it's, it's up for grabs, like I said, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is to to pop the, you know what I mean, to pop the cherry to me, it's like, okay, you make it and you king here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because there's no competition. You monopolize the game. But, on you know, on the other side, the competition is a lot you feel me right and uh, but the opportunities are there though but mm -hmm. you know the competition is also you know tremendous and would you like to go back to brooklyn and try uh, to have a career there um if i had to it dep like i said we'll see right now i'm not really thinking of that you know what i mean i'm doing my thing i got um i got people that i'm working with right now i'm really content and um yeah we'll, we'll see where this thing is taking us and yeah. how about your uh professional athlete career do you think about done. that done done completely done done there's no coming back no ever no i start crying when i start touching the ball that's how bad it gets <laughs>